Hey, what's up, people? It is Tuesday, August the 3rd. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. What I'm going to be trying to do this morning is fish not far from home. In fact, I've got a new lure in the mail just yesterday. So I'm on my way up to Rock House Lake in Logan County, which is not far from where I live here, probably not even five minutes. But anyway, I'm going to try the new Nico Helgramite out. Again, I just got it in the mail, and we're going to go up here at Rock House Lake and try it out. Now, there's a lot of bass up there. There's a lot of big bass up here, and uh, the problem with this lake is, is that it is fished quite a bit. But anyways, again, it's about 9 o'clock. I've got to stop up here, grab me something to drink, and I'm going to head on up to the lake. I'm going to try the new lure out. It's supposed to be really good for bass. We're going to see. We're getting to the hot part of the summer. And uh, it's August 3rd. So uh, we're going to try it out. We're going to see how we do. Um, it's a weekday. Hopefully the there's not many people up here fishing. We'll see. But anyway, I thought I'd bring you guys along for the trip. And uh, hopefully we can hook into one of these bass up there. And uh, what would be better if we could hook into one of those big bass. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll get our lines in the water here shortly, and we'll see what happens. Again, it is a Tuesday. It's a weekday, so I hope there's no one up here so I can basically have the lake to myself. But if there is people fishing, my plan is actually probably to go on the furthest end up and probably wade back down toward the lake, back down toward the dam. It looks a little cloudy this morning. It's about 64 degrees. I'm just getting up here. See a few people here. But uh, they're just right up front here. So hopefully there's nobody on this upper end. I'm going to go up and, like I say, walk the bank back down. Some kids fishing off the dock here. But anyways, it is... Actually, I do see one person on that other side. So they may be some people on this upper end. But anyways, we're going to fish it. We're going to try the Nico Helgramite out, and uh, we're going to see how it does. I see a lot of people slaying them on it. I've yet to use it. I know Helgramite is a good bait, and uh, we're going to try the Nico Helgramite out, and hopefully we land one of these big bass. As you can see here, people, the lily pads are in full bloom. You have a few kids there fishing around the, the boat ramp. It's a beautiful morning. Like I say, it's on the cool side, it's about 64 degrees. And uh, I'm just gonna travel around the lake here. If all goes as planned, I'll probably end up somewhere right down there, close to the dam, when we walk in the back side of the lake there. But uh, anyways, we're gonna head on up here. We're gonna see what happens. It's like a car coming here, so uh, there's a few people up here, as they always are, but uh, we'll see if we can't get one of those big ones to bite. It is a beautiful morning. It feels really good. It feels really good to be out, and we're going to get up here. We're going to get our lines in the water, hopefully start catching some fish. Looks like there's about three people fishing on that side so far. So it's not crowded, but there are a few people up here. The road's kind of rough on the way up, but uh, I'll probably fish this upper end pretty good. There's a lot of cover up here. It's a little bit more shallow, but uh, that's uh, where these bass like to hide. You've got the lily pads. you got some cover up here. you got some uh, deep areas of the lake. I'll try to show you what this upper end looks like. The water is clear this morning. You got some cattails and you have a lot of lily pads. So uh, we're going to get up here, we're going to park up, and we're going to get our lines in the water. All right, folks, this is the Nico Helgramite right here. This right here is the mud bug color. And again, it's by Nico. You get a four pack, it's about seven bucks. But what makes these so good is the durability. They say you can catch anywhere from 50 up to 100 fish just on one of these. 
So we're going to see. They're real stretchy. They're scented. They're floated. Um, here is another color. It's kind of a, they call it obsidian, but it's like a black color. I don't know which one I'm going to start with just yet, but I'm going to be running them with a uh, one-tenth one -tenth ounce weedless jig head. We're going to put that on there, and we're going to try them out. But anyway, just got these in the mail yesterday. We're going to get them tied on here. I probably won't use a swivel. I'll just tie them straight on, and we'll see what happens. All right, people, we're at the secondary lake here. That rock house? I don't know. If there's any fish in here, there's people fishing it. Got a, a beaten path here to the, to the pond, but it's a little muddy. We're just gonna try and see if there's not something in here. Yes, sir. Hey, something in here. Right, man. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, people. There you go. Here in this muddy water in this secondary pond up here at Rock House. Nice 12 inch largemouth. Nice 12 inch largemouth. We're going to let him go, though. That answers my question whether there's anything in here. He come from right down there. All right. All right, people, that is my first catch on the Nico Helgramite. 12 inch largemouth, not bad. We got one. Yeah. Yeah. Another nice fish. All right, people. There is another largemouth here at Rock House Lake. This one's 11 inches. Let's let him get back in the water. There he goes. This, uh, this Nico Helgramite, the one I'm using, the one I've caught these uh, two largemouth on is called the mud bug. It's a little brown in color. And that's what I've caught the last two fish on. Just off the beaten path here, people. You can see this one's paid off. But uh, not been too bad. My first two largemouth of the year, one 11 inches, one 12 inches. And right here looks like a pretty nice place. So uh, I believe I'm going to start over here in this corner and just see if there's not anything down along this bank. All right, man. There's another one. Another one on the Nico Helgramite. All right. All righty.
Not a bad one. I'd say he's probably eight or nine inches. Here at Rock House Lake. We'll send him home. All right. There should be one right over there, man. Like I said. Right. All right, people, one last look at him here. That is a 13 and a half inch largemouth. That makes number four right here at his mud hole. This small pond, this secondary pond up here at Rock House. So let's send him home. I figured they'd definitely be one over there. Makes number four. 113, 113 and a half. 112. I don't think I measured the other one, but that makes number four. Well, people, wasn't too bad. Ended up catching four large mouth, pretty decent size. Biggest one being 13 and a half inches. Caught one 12, caught one 11. I didn't measure the other one, but anyway, didn't do any good in the main lake. I fished that whole side. I did manage to get one hit close to the bank, but uh, didn't really expect to catch a whole lot there. That lake is fished to death, and I know it is. So uh, I was just expecting to catch maybe one or two, if that, in the big lake, and I thought, what the hell? I'll just go over to the secondary lake the lake it uh, kind of stays muddy and just see if I can do any good there has been some folks fishing there because uh, there's paths wore down around the lake and a couple rod props set up and I thought what the heck let's go over here and try it so in about 45 minutes I landed those four largemouth on the Nico Helgramite my first time using it I'm pretty happy with it just to come up here close to home, five minutes away, and land for decent largemouth. So I'm pleased. I really can't wait to try it out here in the river. It's getting cloudy, I don't know. May go some more later today. If not, maybe go some more tomorrow, who knows. But anyway, we're gonna try the Nico Helgramite again in the river. They say it's really good for smallmouth. And uh, I showed you today that it's pretty good for largemouth as well. But anyway, not a bad trip. I'm headed home. I'm going to grab something to eat, grab something to drink, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.